Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to discuss about uh, genotype or environment uh, clustering using our uh, software. So, uh, someone uh, requested me uh, this uh, uh, title or this topic, uh, especially how to compute uh, a genotype clustering on the basis of uh, what is minimum variance technique. So, we will discuss these things. Then this is uh, my data and as I mentioned before, my, our topic is uh, clustering genotypes or environments using our software. And for this tutorial, we will use the data underscore GE, which is uh, built in a package. And again, the function that helps us to compute clustering genotype or environments is uh, GE, uh, GE, which stands for genotype environment under score the cluster function. Again, it's built in a meta package. So uh, you should have to load this uh, package if you haven't. So in case if you have, so you just go to by calling the library and go for metan and let's uh, see our data so our data is uh, composed of uh, 14 environments and 10 genotypes and here is a replication granule and hm which stands for hectoliter mass uh, so this is the inform general information about our uh, data and the functions that help us to compute the clustering genotype or environment in our software in meta package is uh, GE underscore uh, cluster. And this is followed by uh, data, then followed by the column that containing the environment, followed again uh, by the column that containing the genotype, then here is the response variable. So I'm going to use its green yield. But for example, if you are interested uh, to carry out all the response variables that you have, you can say response, resp, that means RESP, then uh, everything, and you have to open um, bracket. And also you can refer one of my tutorials in how to compute um, the all response variable in one. That means, uh, let me show you. This is a risk which is equal to then you can say everything. So you can do in this one if you want to include all the response variables that found in your data. So my aim is, and again, if you want to do only for specific response variable, so you can write in this way. And other things, for example, I don't know uh, about uh, the real number to determine the number of cluster. Uh, but for example, in case, if you are sure, if you have some strong evidence uh, to divide the cluster, you can use this um, uh, this method. That means n class means to determine the number of cluster, or you are telling to R to divide into different cluster. So when you refer three means, R will uh, consider or will cluster into three. Again, if you say four, uh, uh, and R will divide into four. This thing is depend to the number of uh, the uh, genotype or environment that you have. For example, if I'm going to, uh, if I have 10 genotypes, then the number of or cluster to be determined is between two and nine. It should, it should not be greater than 10 or the number of uh, genotypes that you have or the number of environments that you have. So uh, it's between uh, the number of genotypes that you have. For example, here I have 10 genotypes, so the n classes will work uh, between uh, 2 and 9. And one means it's no, it's, it's, there is no classification. One means no classification, or it, it can be considered as null. Then the dist method is the distance uh, method. There are a number of uh, methods that help us to compute clustering. And the first one is here is Euclidean, uh, here is the maximum, here is the Manhattan, here is the Canavera, here is the binary. And here the Minkowski. So you can choose uh, on the uh, you can choose among the listed uh, distance uh, method. And again, uh, uh, the other thing is the cluster method. 
Here also there are a number of uh, cluster methods, and our question is a word, yeah, word method. So which is a default one? Here is the word. Here is a word D2. Here is a single. Here is a complete average MC PTT. Uh, again, here is the median or the centroid. So which um, uh, it depend on the agglomeration methods that you want. So my, the question, uh, the question is uh, using what the word is um, minimum variance technique. So R in uh, meta package it's considered as a default. So uh, instead of single uh, I will change into word or I will remove all this method because the default will consider as a word method. So I'm I, I, I'm I'm showing you uh, this method, for example, if you are interested in single, uh, so you can do in this way. So let's uh, remove this thing because I want only one, the one. So let's say it is a default one, yeah. So let's put it here, yeah. Then scale is equal to true, then the cluster. The cluster is, uh, the clusters are two. One is Either it is a genotype or it is what environment. So if you are interested to cluster your environment, you should have to write environment. Actually, environment is a default one. So um, if you are interested in a genotype, you should have to write in genotype here. So let's do this one. Our data name is data underscore GE and followed by environment, followed by the genotype. Uh, the columns that containing the genotypes, the columns that containing the grain yield or the response variable, and the number of cluster. Uh, to be, uh, the cluster is the number of cluster, and the distance method here is Manhattan, and the default one is Euclidean. Then the method is the word D method, and you can change or you can select other methods from this one and scale is also true and I want to cluster genotype. Run this. Then uh, let's uh, see the cluster dendrogram. So D1 is what we assigned here, then plot. And when any class is equal to null means there is no uh, classification. Yeah. So you can see there is no uh, there is no classification. This, this is the null one. But if you are interested, let's say let's classify this thing this into three parties. So it's classified into three different parts. So the cluster one is contain genotype three and genotype eight, and the uh, uh, cluster two is genotype ten, and the remaining genotypes found in cluster 3. So here genotype 3 and genotype 8 are they are closely related and again here genotype uh, 1 and 4 are uh, closely related and here also genotype 5 and genotype 6 are more related as compared to others. So in this way you can classify uh, the dendrogram. Uh, uh, so let's say here uh, more Let's say two, yes. So it will, it will classify or cluster into two parts, yeah, in this way. And I, I, I don't know the real reason uh, how to determine the number of cluster to be two or three or four. Maybe if, uh, if somebody now please uh, uh, put your idea in my comment uh, section so that everyone uh, can learn uh, from you. Yeah. So uh, let's continue. Uh, the other thing is, for example, if you want to see the hierarchical clustering, you should have to use this one. D1 is what we uh, created here. Then, so you will get full information, the method that you use. So the cluster method is the word, the distance is Manhattan, and the number of objects is 10 because we have 10 uh, genotypes. Yeah. If you want to change, for example, this instead of uh, Manhattan, and if you are interested to use 
uh, Euclidean. So you can uh, port here uh, Euclidean, then you can run, then you will get, and it will, the information is uh, Euclidean. Then, for example, if you are uh, interested in instead of uh, gender type or uh, environment, so you can put this one, then you can go. Then I'm expecting, uh, as I told you before, I have 14 different environments. So the information here is uh, on the cluster also will change it, yeah, in this way. Then uh, the, when we come to detail information, the number of objects is 14, the distance is Euclidean, and the method is word. Yeah. So uh, in this way, uh, so let's change this one. Instead of environment, I'm interested in genotype. Then mm, here is hierarchical. And again, uh, if you want to get uh, the clusters and their uh, similarity, you can use D1, and D1 is a model, so you can give any name that you want. Then you use the dollar sign, then the top, so it will give you the clusters and their similarity like this. Yeah. Then again, uh, if you are again uh, want to see the uh, sum square and the mean value of the cluster for uh, each data type, so you use this card. Yeah, this one. Then again, uh, if you want to see the level of the genotype or the environment with every uh, cluster, you have to use the lab class. Yeah, this one. So in this case, uh, genotype 1, 2, uh, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, are uh, classified as uh, cluster 1 and genotype 10, uh, 9, uh, so, uh, so sorry, genotype 10 and 9 are uh, clustered in 2 and genotype 3 and fall in uh, cluster 3. Then uh, the data, that, if you want to get uh, or to see the data that used to compute the distances, so you provide this uh, thing, so it will display this thing. And again, it will also show you, for example, if you want to show or to observe the cut point uh, of a dendrogram, use the cut point. Your model then attach by the uh, cut point. So it's around uh, here 8.45, yeah, here is 8.45. Then, Furthermore, if you are interested to see the matrix with uh, the distances, so your model then attach using the dollar sign, then write distance. So it will give you this information. Then if you want to see again the total sum square, you can use you can use your model, then attach using dollar sign, then write SQT, which is a which stands for uh, total sum square. So it is 126. Finally, the coplanting correlation coefficient between the distance matrix and the coplanting uh, uh, matrix, your model name, then dollar sign, then the right this thing, or just uh, coplanting. So you'll get the correlation value 0 0.7. So this is uh, all about uh, today's tutorial regarding to uh, cluster and uh, genotypes or environments. So if you change these things into environments, all things are uh, will go for what for environments. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, this is all about uh, today's tutorial regarding to uh, cluster genotype or environment using methane package in our software. I'll put the code. Uh, in description box for your practice and thank you for uh, watching my channel have a nice time